My grandmother is 94 years old right now, so she actually lives in that area. Every time I had a conversation with her, like I got to know Sanja more. Aga sengil kita, ya nen, sali chushil kita, kog saraga terul iko sonul iul kita. The book is so extraordinary. I love the book. My concern about telling the book faithfully in that structure was that I just didn't want this to be a period show. I didn't want this to feel like a Korean masterpiece theater. But I really feel like there's a story here that's more urgent and there's a bigger thing that we could say by cross-cutting the generations. This show is very much centered around uh, how we all make choices and, and how those choices reverberate through time. I want this show to just really open a big conversation. And by bringing the later years with us in the forefront and cutting it up with the past, the show just felt like it breathed bigger. The show allows us to relate to people that might not necessarily be like us, you know, in terms of maybe skin color or, or history. What I think the show does incredibly well is every character is very three-dimensional and it shows uh, their humanity. This whole series is more focused on the personal events and humanity and how Sonja solved the problems and how she is confronting this whole thing. Most of the scenes were very quite emotional. <laughs> Sonja is facing a lot of tragedies, but I can tell you that the every scenes I had with Yang Jin. I had um, very special feelings and something was attached to my emotions. My first impression of Solomon was that I knew this man. Once I got the role and I started doing more of the prep work for the character, I realized pretty quickly that Solomon feels like who I would have been if I hadn't found acting. The most thing I think that um, we have a lot of connections between me and Sanjay is that we are being very honest and even though we had all these obstacles, but Sanja and I always survive. I was focusing more human story, how to survive. If I were her, I couldn't have done it like that. So her honesty and strength to survive in those times. So I just uh, trying to just uh, portrayed her as a survivor. And similarly, I immigrated to America, you know, when I was seven or eight with my family. In addition to that, I think my experience growing up in New England as an immigrant, as an Asian immigrant, there was a lot of code switching. There was a lot of trying to fit in. There was a lot of assimilating to the, the social groups or, you know, that I was finding myself in. And that sort of mental and emotional gymnastics that Solomon is seen to be doing constantly. I felt very connected to that experience. So many people will recognize their, their lives, their struggles. I think the way Solomon code shifts and compartmentalizes his life is universal, right? For anyone who has lived between worlds. When I came here in 74 years or something like 1974 without speaking any English, <laughs> I, I, it reminded me being here. This role is role to me, but somehow this role, I felt like I need to play this role. I had to play this role. So maybe it was very touched. I was very touched and moved. For immigrant children like me especially, right, it's, you know, in America especially when you go after the American dream, so much of it you forget that there's a reason why your parents pushed you, right? There's a reason why your parents left their homeland. There's a reason why they struggled so that you can have the, these opportunities. I want the third generation, the immigrants' generation, to know what their parents sacrificed. I'm a father now. I have a, I have a daughter and I hope that she can consider the choices that I make and, and how they're all for her. And I hope that, you know, through the generations, you know, audiences can consider maybe the choices they've made and also the choices that are made for them in benefit for them, for better or worse. Nicole. 
I also want to remind people, the 20th century history, especially in Korea, what those people went through, right? I, I want history to come alive. My grandmother is 94 years old right now, so she actually lived in that era, so she shares so many experiences of her. But from the childhood, she told me a lot of things about herself, like living in that um, era. So every time I had a conversation with her, I got to know Sonja more. Back in our, that time, I have overheard through my mother, you know, when Japanese occupied our country. But you can imagine how they suffered. I took the show was because it reminded me so much about my grandmother on my dad's side. She was alive during this time, you know, in the early 1900s, you know, and, and she told me stories about this time. So I got very emotional reading, you know, reading the book and the, the scripts. Um, so I, I just had to be a part of it for that reason. I am not doing a documentary film. It is a work of fiction, without a doubt. And as rigorous as I am to be trying to be to the historical record, there are definitely creative licenses that we took, absolutely. But if this can make people go back and learn what actually happened, to me, that's a huge success. It's not even that I hope to break barriers. It is already. It has. It's the first of its kind where it speaks English, Japanese, and Korean, and also mixing American actors with, with Korean and Japanese actors. It's just like such a feat. It's a worldwide show. For this one, the fact that we were able to honor the actual languages of the characters that we're trying to, uh, the people that we're trying to represent and honor in the show, that to me was so important. In spite of how difficult the challenge was to learn and perform in all those languages, it was the easiest for me to feel motivation to do well in it because it's uplifting and putting in the spotlight a group of peoples that I don't know have ever been represented to this extent in America before. We still talk about shows as international shows or local language shows or we or domestic shows, I want that to go away. I hope one day we can talk about shows, period. You know, and it's one market, and that market is the world. These distinctions and these barriers constantly separate us, and I think the stories that we want to tell are universal, are bigger, even if they're specific. As long as you make someone feel something, that should be the only designation.